Hello there everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining how to play Cthulhu in four minutes or less. Let's dive into it. Starting with the passive, everything Cthulhu does applies stacks of torment, and at four stacks of torment he drives enemies insane. Insanity does a bunch of different things that I will cover as we go. Now moving on to the first ability, it's a cone attack. It applies torment, and if they are already insane, it's going to fear the enemy away. The most important part of this ability is everything you hit with this cone is going to make it so that that enemy does less damage to Cthulhu. And you can actually increase the amount of mitigation you get by popping insanity. Every single time you fear someone, you are going to gain another 0.5% damage mitigation. This is a good thing to keep in mind. In Cthulhu's second ability, he makes it rain sludge, and this sludge is going to slow people, but on top of that, it also does two different pulses. On the first pulse, it does damage and slows enemies. On the second pulse, it does damage and roots enemies. And as always, both pulses are going to deal torment stacks. Third ability is a weird dash thing, where basically he charges forward and pushes all enemies to the side where they get rammed by like weird void energy. It's an escape, it's an engage, it's a dash. So now we have Cthulhu's ultimate, where he gets really big, gets a lot of health, and deals significant damage. He is a very large boy already, but trust me, he gets larger. His abilities transform, and he basically has got this aerial view, and he just kind of dive bombs on top of people. The first ability in this form just does damage, the second is a circle that knocks people up, and the third ability is a pulse that heals allies and damages enemies. Now, in general, for ability leveling order, I actually recommend going and leveling the second ability first. It is easier lane clear. It is really good peel, and the most important thing is every single ability point you spend in this ability is going to lower the base cooldown, which is going to help facilitate getting this ability off more often. Now, minding the timer, I want to talk about combat real quick. Combat is important. It's the way you win games, and as Cthulhu, I think you are best served in either support or solo and peeling for your carries. The second ability is by far the best way to do this. You just plant down this giant circle on top of your carries and then the enemy team has a really hard time diving on top of them on top of this you have good setup you can kind of mitigate a lot of damage with the first ability and worst comes to worst hop into your ultimate and heal and disrupt and that's the basics on cthulhu i'm not covering a specific build everything's about to change and i'm going to do that in a different video if you want to continue to learn how to both play and build in smite with me right now click that video on your screen and i'll see you there take it easy